All right, so there's a drill called three on two, two on one fast break. All right, it's a full court drill and it has three people right here and two people right here. It's a very good drill because um, when this scenario happens in the game, if you've done it a whole bunch of times, you're gonna do it really well dur during the game. The key to this drill is to run wide. Run wide and don't get too far out in front of your point guard. So if the point guard is slow, you kind of have to go slower. It's weird. If you get too far ahead, it becomes too easy to guard. So if you ran too far ahead and you're right here, now this defender could just scoot over. He can scoot up. And now there's a very, very bad angle and it's basically just a two on two fast break after a while because you don't really count anymore because you're no longer an option. So what you want to do is to slow down. And now you want this guy to speed up, of course, so you guys can all be running your fastest together like a fist. And as you come up, you want to make the first pass to where this guy is not leaning. So if he's edged toward this way, you want to make the pass to this guy. If he's edged towards that way, you want to make the pass to this guy. Either way, if he's right in the middle, you can make the pass to either guy or to your better offensive player. You're going to make the pass ahead of them so that they can catch it with a running start. So the only thing he should be thinking right now is to dunk it, even if he can't dunk. So as you catch the ball, you're going straight in. You're gonna force this guy to come over here and try to take the charge. Now, as your other man is coming in, your obvious other option is this pass. That should be taken away by him. And when you make this pass, you should be making it with your left hand from this side. So it's the inside hand. Too many people try to make it with their outside hand because they happen to be right-handed. That's not good because this guy can get his hands all over it. So you have to make it with your correct hand from the correct side. If he covers down like that, now your obvious pass is the point guard. And this is the hard part. This is the, this is the tricky part. Instead of just running in and throwing a pass and then continuing to run in, he needs to throw the pass and then come to the strong side elbow and when he does that now as this guy leaves and covers him now that's a catch and shoot possibility nothing else so off this play because again it won't be three on two forever if it was during a game they have three on two but then their other three teammates are coming so you can't be doing too much you can't pass 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 you only you can only pass the ball once are zero times in this drill to possibly make it game like so that's what we must do now of course to finish the drill these two guys get the ball and then, then they go two on one back against whoever threw the ball away or whoever shot shot the ball they should make sure that they're wide and they're going straight to the hole as well to either score it or to make that pass with the strong side hand as well but that's the basic gist of this drill to understand that you have to run together not too far ahead you have to pass the ball ahead of them you have to go in strong, make the pass with your strong side hand, the inside hand, to either one of these guys if your layup isn't there. And then the point guard needs to go to the strong side elbow to ensure that this is a one pass shot. And don't be afraid to shoot that shot. So that's how you beat the three on two, two on one break. Make sure that you run as wide as the sidelines right here and all should be taken care of. And then you can make your team and then maybe you can bring this to the games as well. So when this happens, we're not fumbling the ball around.